Xinxiao, what's up everybody? Xinxiao? Alright, let's take a walk around. Take a look. I'm here to tell you that Sapa has a nightlife. Well, at least on Friday night. And I'm gonna guess Saturday night. So, I'll take you a look-see around and show you that real quick. The mega amount of people. Pretty interesting to see that uh, it's actually pretty got a hopping nightlife. Winnie remembers it when she was here last at nothing. Everything closed at eight. And it's already eight oh five. And there's stuff going on. You can drink at these gong cafes. These eateries here are super popular. We filmed this earlier today, but I want to show the contrasting difference between nightlife and copyright music infringement, which is going on to the right. <laughs> She's taking a test. Yeah, they have her take tests on Friday and Saturdays. It's so weird. Whatever, it's fine. This place is jumping off. Whatever this place is, it's popular. Like every floor has got patrons. It's like something to do with pumpkin, some kind of pumpkin stew. This place had a party going on over here. These are all just full all the way up every level. It's pretty interesting. Full, 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 full. I mean, there's just a buzz in the air, an atmosphere. Like I said earlier, I think you'll see the first video up here during the day. This is the pork guy, also very busy. This is what I want to eat tonight, the pork guy. I want crispy pork. Because the salmon was a disappointment. You'll see that video in 4K, but not until I get back to somewhere with internet. I have to use my phone to upload here. Hello. <laughs> I have to use my phone to upload here. Hello. And it takes forever just on 1080p, so there's not a Jesus' chance in uh, the world that I'm getting off a uh, 4K video in Sapa. The internet is just, I don't know, less than 10 megabytes a second everywhere. I mean, look at this place. So we filmed this place earlier. This guy does have salmon too, but the salmon hot pot's good if you don't watch the like salmon video, but the salmon sashimi is absolutely not the kind of fish. Their salmon that's bred here is not the kind of fish that's for sashimi. It's a smaller salmon, so it's a tougher, chewier, more muscular salmon. It has to fight a little bit harder, as the guy explained it to us. They leave the bones in, too, because they're not big enough to pull the bones out, and they're soft bones. So it just makes for a, a totally different experience when it comes to uh, having it as sashimi. And they use this extremely powerful wasabi that's not pleasurable at all, even like the littlest piece of it. It's like, uh, it's, it's mainly horseradish sauce that's just dyed a different color, but it's really, really strong. There's so many people out and about right now. Half the people are masked, half the not. I'm going with the half non mask I think all of us have three jabs here. You know, it's up to you to what you want to do, but look at this. This is on like epic scaleage. Look how awesome this looks. I mean, it's pretty cool. And then it goes on down here as well. And we vlogged this earlier today. There wasn't a soul out here because it's super sunny during the day. I actually got my first sunburn in a few years on the top of my head because we were doing the uh, Hmong traditional photo pictures where we hired a photographer and on my neck. It's been a long time since I had sunburn because I don't wear sunscreen in Saigon because the pollution's so thick that it blocks a lot of the UV to the actual ground. Very rarely does the UV index go high. Here there's, there's no pollution, you're on a mountain, you're already high up. I should have thought about that probably ahead of time, but you know, I'm not a genius. I'm just a guy that vlogs. You got this cool lit up pagoda back here. This cool river right here. 
Looks like at some point you can take these little duck boats out, which might be a thing to do. But it's just got a lively area. And the way you're gonna drink here, and if you're gonna go out with your mates, or if you just wanna go out for a drink, there are a couple actual bars down here. And then it's mainly drinking clubs. So like traditional Vietnamese drinking clubs. And I imagine these are gonna stay open late, midnight, 1 a.m. till customers are here drinking. So we're gonna definitely be a customer down here drinking as she gets done with her test. Oh, skateboarding is alive here too. Oh, he pulled it off, kickflip. Pulled it off. Let's see what we got. I don't mind skateboarding. I was a skater kid when I was a kid. I sucked. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> now they run away. Dumb <laughs> yet. Dumb yet. Back to the skater kids. Oh, pulled off a kickflip. The man can do a kickflip. Dumb <laughs> yet. So their skill set's a little bit better out here. Maybe these kids practice more. More dedication. Mainly kick flips and ollies. Once you can ollie, you can start to build upon that. My extensive uh, skateboarding career consisted of consistent ollies and kick flips with an occasional grind and tossing a broken arm or two. <laughs> I broke my arm, I broke my foot. I broke something else too. I broke a lot of bones when I was a teenager. I broke my foot. I broke like 38 bones in my foot. I, I cracked my elbow in half down the middle. Definitely was a dangerous kid. I broke my thumb. I broke one of my fingers. My thumb one's pretty bad. I broke my wrist too. I broke my wrist once too. I don't know how many broken bones I had. I forget now. It's too many to kind of remember, but. It's like, look at this. This might be a thumb shot. Because I don't need a chick for every thumb shot, even though it does so much better thumbnail. This is, might be the money shot right here. That we're looking for. Hold on. I think so, right? Always trying to improve your thumbnail game. I mean, there's just so many people. You can hear people talking everywhere. It feels totally super alive here. Which is really cool to see. This is what I'm excited to eat though. It's one of these. One of these suckling pigs. These things look amazing. Let me go film them. He's got paint in this thing. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. It looks delicious. It smells. It smells delicious. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Every one of these places is alive with people. You know, it's got almost a different vibe than any other place. I, you can hear it talking in every corner, and there isn't loud and annoying music everywhere. Usually, when you see crowds like this, I would associate it with like Boy Ving or a drinking street. But this is just like everybody coming together, having family, eating being on a really nice vacation, being in a different environment, so it just kind of breeds happiness, you know? There's laughter in the air. Oh, look at this place. This buffet looks good, too. This is the big place I want to go to. Hello! <laughs> this one looks good, too, man. They all look good. But yeah, I want to come here and get some of this pig on the plate. This place looks like the pig place for me. That I would want to try. Oh, he's got a new one. Here's what a new pig looks like on the pit. Pull right through the ass. Wow, it's crazy how busy it is. Look at all the people. The streets are just filling out as the minutes go by, which is pretty darn cool to see everybody. This is, you know, the Vietnam I'm used to pre-pandemic. People everywhere, people smiling, people happy. You know, out with the family, out with your friends. Sap is definitely a place you don't want to miss. You should not ever sleep on coming to uh, Sapa. Always have a man bag when you go out like this. 
It's easier for me to film on this camera because this all fits in this bag. I don't have to carry a backpack and I don't have to carry a pregnant style. So, I mean, the pizza place, no one. Berry sauce of pizza, not hitting the uh, <laughs> mark. I do want to try it just to see what, like, so we can say we tried Sapa pizza. YouTuber. <laughs> It's just really alive here. Let's try to go over this park. I'll show you the inside of this park. Got the local honking to get through. Here's a little Hmong girl. She's out working selling these little things. Should we buy one from her? Let's see if we got any low, low caches on it. Hey Moi, hey Moi, hello, how much? How much for one? Ten? Ten? Okay. Come on, thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> we got one. Best 10K spent today. <laughs> People are excited to see me filming. A lot of Vietnamese, uh, if their family isn't here, they're, they're live streaming on, the Trump hands out, they're live streaming on Facebook right now for their family to see back home. So this park's been, uh, Winnie told me, hello. Winnie told me that the birds here during the day, they release them and then re-catch them. But you release them to, I don't know, help somebody die. This guy's got some ginseng down here. Just like to me. Honey, she's got different kinds of honey. Fresh honey. Yeah, I guess you buy these birds, you release the bird, and it saves somebody from dying or helps them die. And then they recollect the birds the next day and resell them. This is the jerky. We will buy the jerky when we go home. The Hmong jewelry is pretty, pretty cute. Kaum Kamun. So far, this place is pretty awesome. And then we're gonna shoot a whole separate video after she gets done taking a test over in this area. Because it's really, really cranking over there. I hope you guys are okay with me using this camera when I travel like this. It makes things so much easier. So, it's the reason why I use it. And I think it still really captures what it needs to be. I am shooting 4K content here. I already have shot 4K content here. It's gonna be separate from the conquering Sapa videos. It's still gonna be in that wheelhouse, or conquering Northern Vietnam. It's still gonna be in that wheelhouse, but it's gonna be more comprehensive looks at stuff. Like the first video that you've already seen, you saw peaks of the hotel, like just little peaks of it. But then I actually fully shot the hotel video. So kinda of in that kind of way, if you get what I'm saying. So again, you've got these pretty cool too. I think Winnie's still test taking over here. Yeah, she is. Two guys came in next to her. Probably trying to hit on her. I'll go kill her. Don't fuck with my shit. There's a hostel over here even. You can get a hostel. Oh, if you want a hostel, you can get a hostel too. Hello. <laughs> So I'll film all the way to over here, but then we're gonna we're gonna cut and go get win-win. Never know when a thumbnail comes across, lads and ladies. But really, what's going on is over here. So I'll kind of film that separate. Whatever that time wise, 14 minutes. That's pretty darn good. It's pretty darn good. It's 15 minutes of pretty good content. All right, guys. I think she's done. She said it was a 20 minute test. I showed you kind of like the hot spot area of this little area. Hello. And this is where I'd recommend if you want to, you know, be out on a weekend night here, this is the place to do it. All right, guys. Stay frosty. See you on the next one in Saba. Peace out.